This card is nuts. Woo! Okay, this looks like it's gonna be tough. Hold on a second, boys. Tato karta je matice. 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 What's up, boys, and welcome to the Alexandru. Bauluta. I don't know how to say that if you guys from the Czech Republic or Eastern Europe and know how to pronounce that particular thing above the A, above the double A's. Uh, you guys let me know in the comments or let me know on Twitter if I'm saying it. I'm probably butchering that one. Uh, but we did manage to say this card is nuts in Czechoslovakian. But the main man himself, Baluta, gets himself a massive upgrade, had a 74 silver card, and now sees him get over 300. As a matter of fact, we can tally it up right now with the power of a calculator. 2239 total in game stats minus 1850. 389, almost 400 total in game stat upgrades. Goes from a 74 rated right mid silver to an 85 rated right mid Europa League road to the final card. Uh, Fais Gulam was the other guy that got it. We got two Europa League releases today. Four star, four star, five, five. He legitimately looks like he could be the Romanian Messi with his height with the fact that he's got the agility uh with the fact that he's got really really good stamina 88 stamina people are talking about him being a super sub I see this as a guy you could bring on right off the bat if you want to play him on five and a half chem we put together a very fun side sort of like a Chelsea lead up to the Chelsea uh Slavia Praha um matchup that is coming up I believe this week but like I said the main stats on this card is the fact that he's got 99 agility 96 balance I don't even think Ronaldo or Messi have that particular combination that's a combination you find on their team of the season cards so I'm uh, sorry team of the year cards 95 attacking positioning looks incredible more than anything though 86 finishing and 87 composure you you won't find many high rated 88 89 rated strikers that have that particular particular that have that particular um uh, stat combination as well he's got really nice passing stats so you can literally play him anywhere 90 crossing 91 short passing uh 81 long passing this looks like a very very complete card for costing only an 83 rated squad that required like what five rares this is probably one of the best value to game stat cards that I think we've got in all year. But uh, the only downside is uh, Romania is not a downside if you have the mi uh, mid high con uh, George Haji, uh, a bunch of a few other good Romanian players in the game, Chiriches, and then I'm drawing a blank on a couple of the others. But there are some good Romanian uh, players in the game. However, that's not you. That's not what you want to do with a Slavia Praha player. When you get an Alexandru Baluta, you put him into a side that has some of his uh, Czech uh, Czechoslovakian. Uh, Czech Republic teammates come on now this is a card I wanted to find an excuse to do and we've exactly found that excuse right now 93 shot power 94 long shots much better suited as a cam but we are gonna play him up at striker and I'm wondering maybe if we do a formation change bump him out because he still has 80 crossing as well and then use that Baluta at striker I think that might actually be the play because he's got four star weak foot three star skill moves so we've got Pernica we've got this guy Zahustel again we had to go with him to get the chemistry and then of course end of era Petr Cech uh, also from the Czech Republic if you're doing a uh, if you're doing a Baluta episode, you've got to do a 91 end of era Peter check in the squad as well. Used to play for Chelsea, a couple other Chelsea players as well as that man of the match. I can't change that I'm gorgeous to round out the squad. And this is a true, uh, this is a true lead up to the match between Slavia Praha and Chelsea. If you guys think that these sort of cards are cool and want to continue seeing maybe some of these silver guys get massive, massive boosts and see these as SBCs, drop a cheeky like on the video. Drop a like if this ends up helping you decide whether or not you want to do them. I don't know why you wouldn't. It's an 83 rated squad. Doesn't require an inform. It is very, very cheap to do. Now, the chem style we're going to put on Baluta is the marksman. I'm surprised it actually didn't recommend it. I think we've got one marksman in the club. So we are going to slap that on him right there. Tato carta ye matice. Susek is going to be our true uh, CDM. We might actually find someone to bring on in place of uh, in place of Rash. We might just actually bring on Endovera de Rossi. All right, match number one, a 185 rated squad versus the Norwegian king, Joshua King, Mohamed Salah. Uh, he's got himself Silva, Firmino, a very standard looking side. And uh, I wonder if we're, we're being matched up against this because we have kind of like a... An interesting little squad right here. So we're gonna go to the we're gonna go the four one two one two. Forgot to hit. Look at him, dude. Look at Bates. Come on. Oh, 
Abaluta! Karnica. He has a beard already. So I'm talking to Luke about the thumbnail and I'm telling him to make him look like the Romanian Messi. Does he already have a beard? Stochi. Come on, Bates! Come on, Bates! This is this never oh, happened! God damn it, he already has a, a beard, I believe. Alexandru Baluta. Interestingly enough, the Futhead comments say that he is the new Alessandrini. Not only is he the same rating as uh, Romain Alessandrini, but he's got the same total in-game stats. Literally near identical, but better stats in pretty much every category. So is this the Alessandrini killer? I mean, Alessandrini obviously links in the flashback Ebra, so it makes it way more of an attractive card. Baluta. So what happens when you're 5-5 five, five and you have 99 agility? You can literally Ant-Man through players. Yo, is it just me or does Baluta actually look like Messi on the pitch? Messi! Yo, that was nasty! That was absolutely filthy. If you guys popped by the stream last night, by the way, I'll leave a link in the description to the uh, to the stream. I'm uh, going to be streaming tonight, going to do a, 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 a draft-heavy stream, put together a 190-rated squad that I don't know how is 190. I feel like it should be 191 or 192, but we're going to do, we're going to spam draft tonight. Um... And yo, he legitimately looks like Messi on the pitch, like in terms of like player model. Stouch. Oh, is he off? Truth, you gotta bury that. Come on, dude. 2 0. 1 1. Oh, sorry. Well, 2 0, but 1 Chelsea, 1 Slavia Praha. What did I see about Slavia Praha? Let's find out something interesting about them. Alexandru Balata. 25 years old. He was born September 13th, 1933. 1993, not 1933. His father, Dumitru, was also a footballer. Played in Romania for uh, Panduri Targujiu, Arges PTC Jul Petrosani, and in Hungary for Keke Smith. Huh? Do you see what he just did? But once we started to figure out how to use his card, um, ag 99 agility, you get him, if you get him in a one-on-one -on -one situation with a defender, and it could be a high-rated defender as well, if you do the body feint, or I would even imagine La Croqueta, for those of you guys that use that, would be a deadly uh, way to utilize this card. Like, watch this. I can, I'll guarantee you that he's going to get by at least two players right here. There's that. There's that. Watch. I'm just going to body feint my way into the goal. And then we're going to, yep. If that was in the box, that would have been a pen. Literally, all you have to do is the goddamn body fade. Scorpion King. Stop it. <laughs> Come on! Gone. Ah, okay. Maybe doesn't have exactly the strength as well. Like, if he can shoot through, if he can get between the legs of the guy, you got a really good chance of doing something special. Did you see him, like, literally... By the way, guys, we finished We finished on 20 and 10 on his way to glory last night. We streamed all 20 of my remaining foot champs matches. And I attribute a lot... I Honestly, I attribute a lot of the success I had in Weekend League to you guys being there. Because you were legitimately, like, motivating me and, like, keeping me positive. Stop it. Stop it! Come on! Is that a bug? Is that a freaking spider? The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of two. The second a spider comes into your ear, dude, it ruins the entire epi, man. Baluta probably could have had himself three goals. He probably could have had himself the Hattie, but does come away with one. And uh, left a little bit of a sour taste in my mouth. I'm not gonna lie, Giroud, man of the match, of course, because he's 99 gorgeous. But um had plenty of chances to put this one away, which we did. We ended up winning 2-1. But uh, there was just, I feel like there was just a little bit left on the pitch. I didn't, I don't want you guys to think I was trying to speak Czechoslovakian because I thought that Baluta was Czechoslovakian. He plays in the Czechoslovakian league. So I kind of like, it's all encompassing. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, let's definitely not th th get that confused. Because I feel like the first comments out of context will be like, wait, why are you speaking Czech Republic? Uh, why are you speaking uh, Czechoslovakian? 
when uh, when he's actually Romanian. That was five body feints. Good goal. Is that Gervinho? Gervinho? Ah, uh, we had a chance of one. He's doing a dead fish on me. Ah, uh, he's doing that footballer. Foot birthday, Gervinho. GG, dude. This is this never happened. Pizzin! Come on, dude. That's what he's got. We're doing the dead fish on him. Let's go, Bates. Miroslav Stochsin. This guy Jorvino is absolutely ripping me up. Mm. Oh, I regret not doing that card. Bateson's one of my best friends on YouTube, so like whenever we take shots at each other, like it's all in fun. It's like like all in jest, you know what I mean? Some people might actually think that we hate each other based on like vids and stuff and, and things we say about each other, dude. But um, dude, uh, Bates is the first guy. Fun little uh, little uh, YouTube trivia here. Bates and Nep are the first two guys I ever met on YouTube. 2013. Uh, Nep and Bates invited me to a house they were staying at. They were working with a company. Hey! Was that Baluta? Let's go! The Romanian Messi! What a strike! Do this card. If you do, if you start off this week in any other way, if there's one thing you do this week, what am I trying to say? So this is one of them that this is one of them that's just gonna go back and forth. Penal! Penal! <laughs> Referee, come on! That's the body fate! What does Baluta have? Baluta has 82, which isn't great. Let's go ahead and give it to Olivier Giroud. He hasn't scored enough. He can go right up the middle. Go right up the middle. Olivier Giroud, 4-3. Come on, boys. 99, I can't change that I'm gorgeous. Unreal. All right, 4-3. So seven goals. Wait, no. Uh, six goals across two matches played. I think it's safe to say he's an absolute man lad. Two games, two victories. I think four or five goals with uh, Alexandro Baluta. And you want to know what? I'm going to give him the firmest. This is probably the first 100% rating I think we've given him on the channel. I'm going to give him two thumbs up. I'm going to give him two absolute mad lad thumbs up. Uh, got, a, got off to a little bit of a suspect start with a couple bad misses, but comes up with two goals here. And I think actually got just one goal. So three goals in two matches played, uh, but also provided, I believe, one or two assists in the first match. You guys will just see with the body feints and everything that he did in this match, he is an incredible card. For what he costs, it's it's, it's one of the cheapest SPCs that I think we've had. Per, that's what Giroud does in real life as well. The send-in, uh, he's able to detach really well and then just blast it right-hand corner, dude. Absolute mad lad. That is going to do it for the epi. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. Like I said, I'm going to give this a two thumbs up. 183 rated squad, super, super cheap to do. And you just get really, you get incredible stats. And the only downside is league. But as you see, there already are a bunch of Europa League Man of the Match cards that you can link him into, including a Stoch. And then if you have a Prime, uh, if you have an Icon, um, you know, if you have a Moments Haji or any variation of Haji, really, he becomes a player that you can fit into a lot of, uh, into a lot of squads if you get creative. He really is just that cheap that you can just get him done and not even have to worry about it. Uh, but like I said, if you guys did enjoy and this was helpful, drop a like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Hopefully we get another Europa League, uh, uh, another Europa League SPC tomorrow with another silver player that gets a massive, massive upgrade. But like I said, boys, hopefully you have enjoyed. I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, boys. I'm not going to say the usual thing that we say. Um, Carta noche diet matice.